Welcome to Magigan Faux Services. In this video, I would like to show you the remote management possibilities in case you have a different SSSP application that you're using for your CMS system, but you still would like to have the full Samsung remote management hardware control. Now, this can be done thanks to the separate remote management option, um, which can be used in a cloud-based solution or on an on-premise solution. So what do you get with the remote management solution? So first, when you sign in, you will see this interface. And on the left hand side, you will see these four options that you have. Starting with the first one, which is device, which may possibly also be your most important option because this is an overview of all your devices. So what you currently can see is I have three devices connected, two flips and one regular display. Now the display is connected to the remote management solution and I can fully take over the device if I want to just from the server. So with the remote management solution, I still have the full hardware control and information of the device, but using a external CMS system or SSSP application. So thanks to this, I can also remotely watch what's on the display right now. It's currently set to source HDMI 1 unless I launch a different SSSP application. And using the remote control here on the right hand side, I can also fully control the display. Now please make sure any activities that you execute right here will also happen real life on the display. So what I can also do from the server is make any changes. For example, I can provide the displays with timers, which can be very useful to have them automated, switched on and off at set times. This way, people do not have to physically turn them on and off again. I can fully take over control of the volume, the sources, and multiple more settings. Now, the great thing about the remote management solution is that I can also fill in the URL of the SSSP application from the server. So this way, nearly all activities can be done just from the server, and there is no need to physically go to the devices again. Also, in terms of security control, I can have full security control set from my server and determine which options I would like to have switched on or off just from this menu. Now, there are also additional controls under display control, which can be managed from here as well. And just to give you an overview of the options, here you can see how elaborated the settings can be adjusted. And then you can adjust whatever fits your needs on the displays. Now, in terms of full display control, we do advise you to always switch from the network control and the outer power on, because with network control standby switched on, you can turn the device back on again from the server, as long as it's connected to the internet, of course. Now, apart from this control, Remote management also provides a great possibility to update software from the server without physically having to go to the displays as well. So in case you have large batches of displays that you have to update, you can do this from the server. And this can be done right here on the left hand side at this option. And as you can see, there are currently two firmware versions deployed already. And this can be done just from the server. In addition to that, you can also get an export of these statistics. You can here create several users if you want to, uh, in order to make sure that there are different uses for different displays, for example, or different uses for different display groups. And um, that also can be determined within the users and their specific roles to make sure that the right people only access the devices they are assigned to. And this is how remote management can work next to your SSSP application or own CMS system when only using the remote management functionalities. Now I will now also show you what Magic Info has to offer for the full premium Magic Info package in combination with your SSSP application. So the combination of your SSSP application and Magic Info premium can also be very powerful. And as you can see already on our left hand side, there are way more options right now than there were in the first part of the video. And this is because the first part of the video was only providing you remote management access and within this part of the video, I will show you what it looks like having full premium access. So what we first can do is if we head over to content, 
there is this option to upload a SSSP web app. Now this allows you to schedule your SSSP application via Magic Info services. In this way you can use Magic Info Premium alongside your SSSP application. So you can see it as having two CMS systems. Now why would you want that? For example, if you want to have corporate information running on the first half of the day using Magic Info and the other CMS system running a different kind of type of content the second half of the day. So in this video, I will show you how that's done. So if I click on upload SSSP application, I will provide it with a name first. And here at the first goggle, I have to upload a WGT file, which is the web app package. So you have to make sure your application has this. And for the second goggle, I have to upload a .xml file, which is the configuration file of my application. So both files are now here in the server. Um, so what all there is left to do is hit save and it will upload the application on the server, as you can see. Now it will also have this unique icon saying SAPP. And this indicates that this is a SSSP application as a content item. Now this content item cannot be put in the playlist, but you can schedule it directly. Now in order to achieve the combination that I mentioned at the beginning, what I would like to do is create a new schedule and select the supported devices, of course. And in the beginning, I mentioned at the first half of the day, I would like to show corporate content, for example, which will be my playlist number one. So I'll put this in here and let it run from 8 a.m. to noon. There we go, and click on Never Expire. This means it will play the playlist daily. Now, for the second half of the day, I would like to show my SSP app from noon till the end of the working day, for example. Also, click on Never Expire for this one and hit Save. Now, this is my schedule, and if I head over to next week, since I decided both to have the playlist and the SSP application running for never expire, this schedule will run this way until I end it. So till infinity, let's say it will run this playlist and then the second half of the day it will run the SSSP application. Now all there is left is to save the schedule of course, assign it to the right group, which is very important and hit save. Right, so what it will do now is send the schedule to the display and within the first part of the day, it will show the corporate content using Magic Info. And the second half of the day, it will show the SSSP application. And this is how you can combine Magic Info Premium with your SSSP application. And you do have also full control over your displays this way, but you also have a bit more flexibility in terms of content creation, since this can now also be done in Magic Info. In case you have additional questions regarding remote management, your SSP application in combination with Magic Info Premium, feel free to let us know. Thanks for watching.